and welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Green Nirvana. He is ranked third in his Platinum Division with 2,584 points, 260 wins, and 239 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the south up against Green Nirvana, who... Wow, that's a quick good luck from him. He is the blue... Protoss in the east. The map is Metalopolis, which is not one of my favorite maps. A well, against Protoss players, I don't have that much of a problem with it. It's usually the Zerg players that I worry about on this map because they can expand so quickly and there's not much I can do about it unless I go for a really ag aggressive army build and uh, even more aggressive than, my, than the three racks that I typically go. That's more of a defensive build and then when I find out that the opponent hasn't done anything, uh, I go for uh, I, I go for the attack. That's the way I look at it. Um, but I, I, once again, after seeing that Masters player in that random game and he went for one racks expansion, I quickly found out that in the higher tier games, Three racks is really considered a very aggressive build, but in games that I play at the level that I'm playing them, three racks tends to be a relatively safe build in terms of economy. It's not like all of a sudden my opponent has completely out out uh, classed me in terms of income. Usually, um, my first attack will go in. And either he can hold it off, or uh, I win. Or, more than likely though, I will get attacked first when I go for three racks. That, that's, to, that's honestly what happens most of the time, is that I will get attacked first. And I will counter with what forces I do have, and then that will determine how the game goes from then on. So three racks at the level that I'm playing it right now is not an overly aggressive build, but when you get up to the pros, this it, it's considered almost an all-in build because if you don't do massive amounts of damage to your opponent, you will be far behind in the game. I don't like the looks of this probe, so I try to take it out with my marine, but it was not to be, and this is late. Why Why don't you have a reactor? There you go. And then you're... Yes, you're going. Yes, yes. You're going. Okay. Getting the upgrades on nothing right now. I'm getting a barracks. That That is what I meant to say. Meanwhile, I'm getting the mules and getting all the income that I can. And... Once that mule kicks in, I should take the lead in the mineral count. Boom, there it goes. Not by much, though. You know, he's got a couple more probes than me. He probably chrono boosted at least a couple of them. And he is going for one gateway, Cybernetics Core, into three gates. So I, but my SCV will be able to spot that. He's been in there this entire time. He also see that... My opponent has two assimilators up. So I'm not exactly sure what to think of this build. I assume that it's going to be very sentry heavy at this point. And it looks like, yes, he is actually chrono boosting a sentry out of one of the gateways. Once again, very strange. Usually the sentries aren't coming out until after warp gate technology is finished. So this is going to be an early sentry here. Um, Stalker tried to poke up my ramp. Uh, doesn't it did get one kill, got one marine done uh, before it ran off and skittered off like the I don't even know what that's supposed to be like it is. So we got three gate pylon, uh, not really a four gate, so it's not an overly aggressive build. But we don't see a robo facility out, and we don't see a stargate out, so it's hard to say where he's going to take this. I do know, bam, he is full on chrono boosting energy. Why is that not being used? So there goes the fourth gateway. It is going to be a four gate coming on here, and he's getting a pylon up, so a proxy pylon. So he is going to be going for an early attacking build here. And I pretty much have similar um, 
similar income to what he's got. He does have more gas coming in, but then again, I have more minerals. But my build is definitely more mineral heavy than his is, but he definitely has the larger army now. Especially with all those, uh, with that sentry, which is so gas heavy, and he's skittering around, deciding whether or not to go up my ramp or not. He decides that he wants. Wow, that is good right there. That, that's a defensive force field. It will stop me from going down to counter this, and that's what I need to do right now. I need to go down there and try to finish this off. But I was kind of waiting for a couple more reinforcements to come in. But no, he denies that even further with another force field on the ramp. See, this is where I would move in. Two more marauders coming out. So, but no, he looks like he prevented himself from going up the ramp with his own force field. That was kind of strange there. But I'm going for the combat shield upgrade. Uh, no, no engineering bay yet, be, so I uh, couldn't go for the weapons level one upgrade. He is going for an expansion here. He is holding me in my base, so this is the perfect time to go for the expansion. With basically four sentries, he doesn't even need the rest of the army right now. He can just hold everybody in my base with those four sentries. I need, so I'm highlighting. I see that he didn't. He dropped the force field. So I move him back down, and boom, there goes another force field. So I stim up everybody that's down here, but he split my army in half, and two halves do not equal a whole, and he's able to wipe out my army pretty easily there. And it's pretty much game over from here. It's just a matter of time. Is there anything... Yeah, look at that. That is... Way too much income right now for me. I should have gotten another racks up, um, possibly two more racks up. Uh, gotten uh, that engineering bay done a lot faster. Possibly gotten an orbital command up as well, so I can start getting SCVs out twice as fast. This mule is useless to me, so I let it explode, and then I say, "Good game, well played," because it was well played with that sentry micro. That's why I focus down the sentries as early as I could. He's got proxy he's got pylons all over the map here. Good learn. Look at that. But the, those sentries are what won the game from him. If it wasn't for those sentries, I would have been able to wipe out that army. I should have known once that first force field went down to go and follow up attack, get these guys down where they can start doing damage, but I didn't do that the first time. Uh, when I thought of it, it was already too late, and he had enough sentries to hold pretty much a permanent force field on the ramp, and I was unable to move down. And that was the game. That was a good game, actually, I thought. Um, you know, I don't want to always show wins, so I, um, but, but honestly, most of the time when I lose, it's uh, mid-game to late game, and I fell apart. So this was definitely a game that was good for me, and I still lost. So this is one I want to show. This is definitely something that I need to learn from because it has happened to me twice now, and I don't want it to happen anymore. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.